hello guys welcome back to my channel also I want to show you first that I make uh, some playlists in order to make it easy to find a video related with the topic like for example if you're looking for general questions for or general topics related with the RHCSA exam you can see here there are 51 videos and also you want to see something with the RHCE exam there are the general topics there are 11 videos so far well today we are going to see the how to configure a caching only name server it uh, looks like it's very easy but that there are a few things that you need to remember or at least you need to know have a little knowledge about how works the DNS server so okay let's go back there are this this is there are me my two VMs so there are the settings I will set up the DNS cache only on this one and I will test on this one okay first let me see if I have internet access to on this one oh sorry con no we don't have nothing let me change my conf my my DNS I will say like let me point to my gateway okay apply off on and magically the pin works cool let me okay so first you need to install the right package it's jump install dash y Unbound, this is the package that do the, the work for you. Okay, install. After install, you need to what? Start the service. Unbound that service. And right after that, don't forget to enable the service. Okay, now let's start the configuration. The configuration file for unbound is on exe unbound unbound.conf. Okay, here there are a few parameters that you need to change. First, interface. Here we go. This is my interface. So this is the interface. I'm going to just copy and paste, insert. I'm going to pull my IP address 192.164.14.173. Okay. The next parameter is going to be the access control list. There we go. I'm going to copy. Oh, too many. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to say here I'm going to specify my whole network 192.168.4.0 slash 24. There you go. Uh huh. The next one is going to be the domain insecure. sample.com this is my domain you see here my domain also on the previous the next one and the most important gonna be the forward zone okay let me copy a few lines paste okay here you need to forward like is the server gonna be configured as um, cache name only? Here on the zone name, you need to select that. And I will use the forward IP address or forward address. I will use the Google DNS. There you go. Looks good. Okay, try and quit. Okay, now let's restart the service. We do saying a key restart I will check the status 
the servers. Okay, oh, let me increase. Here we go. Let me start again. Looks good. Also, there are a few commands that you can check with unbound control status. You can see the status of the. Let me run it again. See? And also, you can check the dump underscore or dump underscore cache. It's empty, the cache. So now let's open the firewall for this service. Don't forget about that. We we'll say a permanent add service DNS. Now I'm going to reload the configuration for the firewall. And also when I check with next tab and dash TLP UN Gnome. How many options that you can up in grab for five three? You can see it's listening on that port. Let me run it again. If the people prefer use the new utility, good to go. SS. Pretty much you do the same thing as next net stat. So okay, let me increase this a little bit more. And we check the cache is empty. Okay, now let go back to. Oh, so also let me. If I go here, I'm gonna do like uh, Google.com. I have internet access on this. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, com, not com l. <laughs> Google.com. There we go. We have a Google, we have a Red Hat, Access. <laughs> so, okay, it's, this is for just good to know. Okay, now let's go back to the client. Oh, sorry. Go back to the client. I will say if I can ping Google. I can't because I have my DNS set to my lab IPA. You can change this file manually. But it's gonna be a temporary fix. So if you restart the service, the server, it's gonna recover as 200 again. I will use by perma as forever. So let me go to the configurations. I will change the IP. You can do this using the nmcli command. But for this demonstration, it's very easy to do this. Okay, 7.3. Because this is the server, the IP address for this server. See here. Also, let me show you interface on on come on on this one. Oh, inter, not either. Inter. Okay, come on, interface. There you go. You see, this is my interface. So. One, two, three, apply, turn off, on, there we go. If I check my resolve conf, it said like this. So how to test? Dick, oh, for dick, no. If I going to do dick, a red hat, that con. Ooh, ooh la la, look at that. I have the IP address. Also, you can check the Sanders um, website. I love that website. Is he's doing a few meetings this week, so go to meeting and we'll say live meeting. It's a Red Hat Sir. Dot com. I have the resolution. Also, you can check the as um, I don't know Facebook. Why not? I have this resolution for Facebook. Also now when I go back, oh let me if you try to load a web a page before was empty, you try to load something like this, or if you go to um youtube.com slash c slash fido and Dominguez Rovero. This is my channel, as you know. <laughs> See my channel playlist, remember? And you have the playlist. 
to subscribe to my channel easy sign in and subscribe or open any video and click subscribe please if I do now it can redirect to my Google, to the Google account to subscribe to the channel so okay I have internet access on this one if you see I can go with the Red Hat uh, okay so, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. That, that that one what's wrong here okay get star okay I can do everything that I want okay now when you go back to the server you can do the unbound control cache dump dump cache and you can see all the cache see this is a Facebook it's, it's you takes time to explain this you can see the YouTube deal but means that now is re is resolving as cash only so you can do like a dig on my to my web page is is uh, valero dash fix com you can see the godaddy dns the ip address and now you see here and we grab for um, valero you can see here the valero is the see also you can test on the server itself you can do like a dig right at local 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 host and you can see like a valero that fix it takes time I think or oh, even don't resolve yeah I will I expect that because it's not configured very well but now you can see if I use the IP address you see the resolution if I do the thing the same over here of Valero fix you can see the same IP address okay it's very easy this is how to configure a cache a DNS cache only so let's recap you need to install okay you need to uh, da -da 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 you need to start the unbound command you need to start the service enable the service edit the configuration files I will show don't forget to restart and don't forget to enable or to open the firewall with that and after and after do that you need to um, reload the after open the DNS you need to reload as you can see the list dash all here we go the DNS okay I will do another test it's working let me see another website like a crazy website like a hmm it's hard on facebook.com there we go it resolves the same that com let me if you show if you see look something like a um um uh, nbc.com that says yeah nbc.com okay okay go here I will say like a nbc.com boom there we go okay the configuration file is is easy is, well but some for some people it's hard but first you need to go to interface set your IP address or the IP address of the server next you go to the access control list there we go the IP address also you have a few samples so you can refuse you can allow also IPv6 
The next one, you're gonna see like a, the domain insecure. You can set your domain, and um, at the, the end, you can see the is a forward song. You can set this is required as cash only, but you can set the forward address as address or host. You can use both. Okay. Another thing, if the server if the, if the service does do not work very well, and you can see the um I will show it unbound control status. Um, you can do if you have any problem with the keys or something like that, you can use the dash setup. Boom. And after that, I will recommend restart. And when you see now the status dash L, I want to see a long list. You can see everything. I will check here to do another like a Oh, there you go, fox.com. Oh, I have fox. There you go, they resolve. Cool. Okay, thanks for watching. This is how to configure a DNS cache only. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and wait, wait, really wait for the next videos related with the Apache config. It's really awesome. Believe me. So, you see here, the Apache config is a very, very huge topic from the RHCE exam virtual host access restriction restrictions on directories CGI group management content and TS TLS so thanks for watching and see you in the next video